Now, if you're in Sydney, is your asbestos roof dangerous to your health? Yes or no? On Easter Sunday, 2012, the Sydney Morning Herald had a leading story titled Asbestos, the outlawed fibre with a licence to kill. There were also several support stories about the terrors of asbestos. So, how close were the media to the truth about asbestos? Especially the type of asbestos that a Sydney roofer like myself would come across almost daily. Now we're talking about bonded asbestos roofing and these come in the corrugated profile. There's a larger profile called Super 6 and a smaller corrugated profile similar to the size of metal corrugated roof sheeting. Our health authorities banned the use of asbestos on roofs because they deemed it to be dangerous to our health. The authorities also banned smoking but took the soft option and people can still buy cigarettes and they can smoke in private and open areas. Now smoking has been proven to be dangerous to our health but we continue to tolerate it. Vehicle exhausts will also shorten our lifespans but we cannot do without our cars. There are hundreds of thousands of asbestos roofs in Sydney so exactly how dangerous is an asbestos roof? if you're living underneath one in Sydney. The Asbestos Diseases Foundation of Australia says, following are the main diseases caused due to asbestos exposure, asbestosis, lung cancer, and mesothelioma. Now, large doses of exposure to asbestos fibers is required for someone to get asbestosis. So this is the disease of the miners and factory workers who worked with their asbestos, not the normal Sydney cider. Lung cancer has so many possible causes that it may be difficult to identify cases where asbestos fibres are the main culprits. And that leaves us with mesothelioma. This is an asbestos cancer, although there are some other minor causes that uh, causes mesothelioma. In November 2010, a report by the New South Wales Ombudsman outlined the case for the safe handling of asbestos. It compared New South Wales road fatalities to mesothelioma, nearly two road deaths for every asbestos death. That's right, double the people die on our New South Wales roads than from mesothelioma. Maybe you should have looked at the other statistic from the Cancer Council Council Institute of New South Wales because in 2007 mesothelioma only accounted for 0.6 percent of new cancer cases. Bonded asbestos building materials are such common items in a typical home or workplace it would be safe to say that virtually every Sydney cider has been exposed to it in some manner. But you're still 15 times more likely to get skin cancer from sun exposure than from getting mesothelioma from bonded asbestos exposure. And the conclusion? Well, Sydney ciders are extremely unlikely to get mesothelioma from living near or under a bonded asbestos roof. It is the workers who work with bonded asbestos roofs, mainly in the removal and disposal of it, that have a slightly higher risk and that is why all the rules and regulations are written for them. Now, what if you still don't like an asbestos roof? Even armed with all this asbestos knowledge, I must admit that I do not like asbestos uh, roofs. Maybe because they are brittle to walk on, but mostly it's in the mind. It's got nothing to do with reality. So, for those who want to get rid of their asbestos roof, I recommend replacing it with a colour bond metal roof. We used to remove the bonded asbestos ourselves, but now I find it easier to use a specialist asbestos removal service to do all of that. They will remove the bonded asbestos sheeting, vacuum away any asbestos fragments, and spray the roof cavity with PVA glue. 
We will then install a color bond roof with insulation blanket to provide a much more energy efficient roof. And finally, where does all the bonded asbestos go when they come off a roof? Well, it goes to an approved asbestos tip and at quite an expensive cost. I've been to an asbestos disposal tip and what they do with the bonded asbestos material there may hurt your feelings, so I won't go there now. 